here with a lot of artificial baits um, gonna try and snag a big wing cod or something off of here I did bring bait just in case we got to switch up later but uh, yeah I got big kitex big swim baits from pitbull tackle and I'm really excited it's super low tide right now so looks like we got to take advantage of these conditions while we can and I got the uh, Akuma Salilo nine foot out here with the Pisifun Alijo and I went ahead and brought my Shimano uh, SLX combo. We got a one ounce P line laser minnow on right now. Yeah, we're just gonna try not to lose too many baits, but uh, probably will. <laughs> and that is just the way she goes. But yeah, guys, it's an overcast day, real kind of calm conditions, and it's looking primo. So let's get out there. All right, we got the laser minnow, 25 pound mono, 50 pound braid, 7 8 medium heavy, extra fast rod. I think we just got a little bite, a little tap, a little tap a -roo. Looks like a little kelp green leaf. Whoop, get up here, dude. Oh no, it's a little blue. Yeah, buddy. Perfect size eating fish. Check that out, y'all. Yep. Let's go. It's a good size rockfish, guys. On the laser, P line laser minnow. Yeah. show you guys I made this fish clip myself out of a clothes hanger light duty fish clip it's good to have so another really good thing to have when you're out here on the rocks because there's so many different species is some kind of guide that shows you exactly what kind of fish you're catching this one here is the California Fishing Passport. Um, this is actually an old, older program. When you catch all the different species in California, they give you like an award, a reward, some kind of certificate for you to hang up. I don't know if they're still doing that, but uh, if you look inside here, oh, dollar. You guys can tell and see 
Stripe surf perch, walleye surf perch, black croaker. Gives you a good idea and a clear visual of exactly what kind of fish you're catching. It's not going to tell you the regulation size, this specific one, but they do have books out there that'll tell you the regulation size and all that. I kind of just keep in mind all the stuff that I'm going to be catching out here and I know the size limits for everything. And I also keep a measuring tape on me. Um, so that way if a game warden does stop you, um, he's going to want to see you that you have a measuring tape and uh, your fishing license, of course. So just a quick tip, make sure you guys got some kind of guide because there's so many different ground fish, fin fish out here. It's easy to get confused and it's easy to confuse them for a different kind of species as well. Just a quick tip for you guys. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'm casting out. Oh, I'm already getting hit. And it's getting hit on the drop. Yeah, it's getting hit on the drop. So there's a school out there, which we learned from our underwater footage that they like to live mid-column. There'll be a link to that right here if you guys haven't seen that video. To be honest, I was really kind of skeptical about bringing my bass rod out here, but thank you, this is what you need. You need a light setup out here. Of course, you don't want it too light to where you're losing all your gear, but you definitely need to be filling the bites. All right, guys, well, that's about wrapping it up out here on the rock, but we got that one good blue rockfish, and uh, we we're throwing around some big baits today. That was really fun. Let's go home and cook, because I'm getting hungry. We're gonna make some rockfish tacos. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now, so I'll see you in the kitchen. Peace. Right, guys, welcome back. We're gonna uh, go ahead and fry up some fish. I'm gonna fillet them and then uh, throw them in the pan. My wife went ahead and made some beautiful seasoning and egg wash for us, so uh, I'm hungry, let's get to cooking. All right, so here's our little blue rockfish. I'm actually really stoked that we got something today. It just goes to show you guys, you don't need a whole lot of fish to make a little meal. Spine here, not a master flare by any means. And this stuff will be for my dog. Help me, help me. Filet's been cooling, not a lot of meat on this little fish, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cook the head too. There's some good cheek meat in there, good eyes, so we're gonna cook the head too. And the way we're gonna do this is plain and simple, just like your mama and your daddy and your grandma and your uncle used to cook fish back in the day. One in there, a couple times in there, a couple times in here. You want to get this part. This is the important part. You want to get a lot of that on there. You want to, you want to juice it. Oh, baby. Don't be shy. You know, be liberal on your crusting. Holy crap, that smells amazing. Hey, what'd you put in here? Wow, smells really good. If only they had smell-o-vision for y'all. Maybe it's just because I've been on the rocks all day, freaking starving. Starving Marvin. Look at that, dude. Some little tasty loins, all right. Let's do the head. The head in here. You know, fill his, pack his mouth with as much of that as you can. Get his eyeballs. You know, get the blood out of there. Don't worry about the blood. That don't matter. That don't matter. Make, make a tape there. I'm gonna go a little dipsy daisies, a little dipsy deals. Get that in there as best we can. And we're gonna press them up. I have to do the head last. Right. Well, thank 
Watermelon. So this is actually the fish head. And then I got my taco. Shout out to the wife for making this happen because I suck at cooking. <laughs> she had to line everything up for me. Tell me the order that it was supposed to go. Mom. Mmm. Fresh is an understatement. I was swimming less than five hours ago. I need to do catch and cooks more often. Let's get a bite of this uh, fish head here. Look at look how crunchy that is. Mm. The crunch factor. That's the fish head. Oh, yeah. Look at that white meat. Mm. People overlook the heads, man. There's so much meat inside of a head. Mmm. Oh, ha! Mmm. 10 out of 10. All day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys asked for a catch and cook. We made it happen. Should probably do it more, more often. <laughs> If you guys like the great outdoors, <coughs> check out other links right here while I go and get some water because I just can't give y'all an outro. Peace!